I'm just, again, I'm tickled for you, and uh, tell all you guys to make this thing work. I, I know you'll be good stewards for the city, and there, I know you're already successful, but how this is going to change, and you're going to introduce a whole different group of young people and everything else to the sport, I think it's just going to be fantastic. So, man, I'm tickled to death for you. Just, you got the opportunity now to make a difference. I mean, you, what you've got is great, but now you've got an opportunity to bring young people into the sport and make Mecca, not one of the Mecca, for Jiu-Jitsu and, and your submission fight. I mean, you, it, this, is, this is a turning point for a lot of young people. Uh, they need this. Yeah, they need this. So, man, I'm tickled to death for you. What's going on guys? We're here at the new location for Pedigo Submission Fighting, aka the Daisy Fresh. We have moved from the laundromat after so many years of getting in there. Today is the first time we're going to show anybody the inside. George and Spatch have finished all the construction and everything's done. So you're going to get the sneak preview of the building before anybody else. So I'm here with Derek, one of the first Jiu Jitsu students ever. He's a black belt, recently won a Noki Black Belt World Championships for us, Masters 10. So we're going to give Derek the tour and all the YouTube folks the tour. Let's go. All right. So Derek started with me in the grass, me and my brother back in the day. So this is a big one for him. Uh, He's going to cry a lot, probably. So, all right. So this is it, the old Mount Vernon Wire building. Been waiting on this place uh, secretly for years, man. This was always like basically the dream to get this place. It's right in the middle of Mount Vernon. Broadway on one side, Main Street on the other. You rent something, you don't get to put everything you want into it. But this, 25 years in the making. Holy shit, we got ripped off. <laughs> so guys, we, Dollamer sent us the, Dollamer sponsored the entire gym. We talked with uh, Flo, Dollamer sent us uh, well, what we thought was gonna be the, who's number one, Matt, but I guess maybe it was a warm up Matt, but there it is, guys. So, entrance alone obviously when you walk in so much different than uh the other place um take you guys out here so new mats okay so these mats totally 100 percent sponsored by dolomer mike swain and dolomer these guys they reached out to us and uh man they've been so incredible man they they sponsored the mats they we could have did this without Dolomer. So Mike Swain and Dolomer, we appreciate you guys so much. They helped us out getting everything going. So George built a subfloor underneath this floor. So it's extremely uh, bouncy. The mats are actually the old who's number one mats from Flo Grappling. So Flo and Dolomer had did a thing. So I believe either this mat, one of the mats was the Jordan Burroughs mat and the other one was a uh, Craig Jones, Gordon Ryan uh, when they had matches. So these are the actual matches from the Who's Number One event. So that actually, you know, actually meant a lot to us. Uh, our relationship with Flow Grappling, they've been so incredible. But again, I want to thank Dollimer so much for, for, for the mats. But this is the downstairs, downstairs, Jiu Jitsu mat space here. Okay. So it goes over. We have front office, and then this will be front desk. Yeah, when I was a kid, this was the Y, and before it was the Y, it was another gym. And uh, do we get to keep everything that's in here now? It's done. So this is ours. <laughs> this is ESPN Presents Jock Jams, <laughs> Volume 2. That's what's up, that's the first play.
spin room. Yeah. Yeah. So front desk. Here. Actually a check-in thing, the old memo pad thing, you know, wasn't working out too too much anymore. So got a couple of metals down there, worlds and all that, some key stuff. Obviously, show your role has always uh, you know, kept us looking fresh always uh, since day one. So all kinds of show your role stuff back here, uh, saved up over the years and uh, you know that they've sponsored that I bought and all that good stuff. Office. Um, I just think whoever was the boss had an office here. True. Sure. Put this in water last night. I'm an idiot. Go on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. You could kill someone with this. Okay. A little office space here. I actually don't have any business, but I just wanted to get an office. I always wanted to get an office, so it seemed like a good time to get an office right there. That's pretty good, right? Get the fucking IBJJF on the phone, George. <laughs> so, wrap around. And then... This was a daycare. This is the really a couple pictures here on the wall. Spatch, them little Daisy Fresh tattoo. The boys down in the Wiltsy handing out a beating on there. All right, this is the, like a rehab room, okay? So George built up a room here. Old school shoe stuff. Got a couple massage chairs that we picked up. I got a Chinese friend, gave us a little discount on those, uh, hooked us up, a spa, sauna, this thing, to save over 20 years for this thing, but yeah, we finally got us a real dress on. We actually have one more that's coming in. It's gonna be a, um, what is it? Uh, infrared. An infrared sauna, infrared, so that's gonna go over there, but uh, yeah, man, this is, uh, this is the rehab room. You're not gonna lock me in there, right? Right, we've done that before. We've locked Eric in the sauna many times. Okay. All right, so we'll go to the next room. Derek actually cut, he would, he would cut one pound of water in the bathtub back when he was competing at the lower belts so he could drink milkshakes. So, that's a true story. All right, sick young man. Okay, so. This was an old YMCA building. So originally back in the day, this is the building we had always wanted. So we kind of held out for this building because it's got two stories, but uh, it's changed so much. These are the locker rooms, okay? Men's locker room. Well, there's no light, but I'm not excited about that as much, but. So this is the changing room. So we get some lockers over here, but there's two showers, not one, but two showers. That's a big change for us. It's good. That might be flipped. But, uh, urinal. Everybody wants a urinal, right? Really? <laughs> and he's sucking. What is this? And he's sucking. 
for fucking 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my I god. Like, I better just call him, bro. Um, I stopped, uh, Ghana stopped me. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. No, he's coming to the top, putting his head up, but he's down like, I feel like he's fucking. Okay. Uh, lockers here, Rocky style for the guys. A couple showers. Fish there. He's even got a urinal, man. It's fancy, right? Toilet in here. We've got a door. You know what I mean? You just can't beat that. Look at that. Fancy, fancy. Two showers. Can I say on video you didn't want the door? Yeah, no, I didn't want the door. <laughs> but you gotta, you know. So you're a man of the people. Men's locker room. Okay. So girls locker room. So those lights might be just burnt out, huh? And that or breaker could be So women's bathroom. They actually got two stalls. One shower. It's very exciting. <laughs> but yeah, change your room in there. I'm actually really proud of this one. So, George built up a little uh, makeup area thing for the girls here. Uh, hair ties, that was a really good idea actually. Uh, that is yeah, but I'm, I'm, it, it, it's really incredible. I'm really, really proud of it. A uh, couple different um, bathroom things there. Shower. Yeah, pretty fancy, huh? Incredible. That's so awesome. There's a ladder. In case you need to climb somewhere. <laughs> uh, so storage, you actually have to visit to see what's in here. So we're gonna, it's going to be a mystery. Everybody. So this is, a, this is a secret room, you know, can we just can't, until the gym's open, we can't reveal what's going on. Derek's trying to leave the lights on, run the bill up. So that's the downstairs. So this is actually George's changing rooms. He isn't, he won't use the fancy ones. He just stays in here. Pretty huge, actually. There's a lot of room in this thing, man. Oh, hell yeah. You know, we got to keep it a little old school, you know what I mean? So we got the other changing rooms in here. You know, you can get in there, little mat space. Um, some storage back here. Some lockers from uh, the 19th century that we got. This looks like some kind of door. Once again, we don't want to look back there, but you know what, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. But, uh, all right, so the walkway, it's a little, this was like a little, uh, they just had some extra stuff that was in here. Um, room here, we got a couple of the team trophies. Uh, some of my favorite ones, of course, the Nogi team pans. Some of our novice stuff, which I love more than anything because white belts, they matter, white belts matter. This is uh, Michael Pixley's outstanding wrestler from the NAIA championships, his NCAA national championship. Couch is, uh, this is Couch's uh, trials bronze medal. That did not qualify him for the ADCC, but it is a good medal though. This here is a, uh, that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> this is my son back in 2008. <coughs> Let's not focus on that. This is my, actually my favorite part of the gym. So this is the original Daisy Fresh Laundry Mat sign. We haven't told the owner of the gym. I'm still working it out with him. We haven't told him that we took the sign yet, but hopefully we can work something out. These are the original mats from the Daisy Fresh. Um, Derek will need to probably either have his fingers cut off or uh, heavily sanitized with a chemical product. But these are the actual original, these are the original mats from the uh, old Daisy Fresh building. So we brought it with, pretty cool, huh? This is the sign. It actually fell down. We made the video about the sign falling down. Yeah. And then uh, we brought it in, brought it with us so, you know, we can keep it. Um, we can keep it real. 
Alright, upstairs. This is the wrestling area. Alright. Now the big thing. There's the story back there. And then this these can come out. He said because they were just picking up these in for treadmills. So uh they can come out and then this can be completely open. He said that this wall is removable. So it can be knocked down and then this will be literally one open room, which Damn, this is a whole lot bigger than I remember. So we can fit one, two, three Olympic size mats probably in here for the wrestling for the kids. So th th this will all be open. That wall will come down, and then it will all just make one huge, just giant room. So could we take a heater out of another one and put two heaters in? Tell that. Carrying this construction crew on my back is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> um, he's the coach of jujitsu, but. I don't know. I don't know anyone. <laughs> you stepped on the floor. You stepped on the light. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck do you want us to do? We just ripped it out. We dropped the HVAC units uh, by accident, and then we cut out the roof, and the lights fell. Um, so then we tried to pass the lights through the frames, um, but Jared was too scared to hold them because he thought the electricity was on. So he dropped one too. You get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we looked at this and we got scared. Basically, that looks like that octopus guy from Spider-Man. But now we can cut all that out, all the conduit. So now it's it's this dump truck doesn't matter. Pardon? Or is that fake? The dump truck? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. What time? Uh, in a couple hours. He said we should sell, uh, separate um, the steel from the trash, and the trash we can put the dump truck. Twenty bucks, we can take it out to his friend. And then, um, it would actually probably be pretty cool footage. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. You're in a dump. So he said, Well, I said, What do you do? What, are, what do we do up there? And he's like, Well, you've already done a lot, so now you need to just go back in and literally take down everything except for the wires. Yeah. yeah. He said, We've already done a lot. I think he meant like, We fucked it up. And yeah. he said, are you cool. taking down all your lights? And I said, yeah, they're all coming down. All the lights are coming down, and they're going to be... Uh, all the lights are coming down, and new LEDs are going in. Hey, that, that was PC's idea. But don't tell him. It was. He was the foreman on this job. I was the offsider, and Ty was a lackey. He was shit. How, how do you think it's going to look now that it's open? Badass as fuck. Yeah. It was the right move. Right? I like yeah. the frame. I didn't realize that was there. I'm fucked up. Pit, right now, what happened? You <clears throat> drinking? Oh, yeah, last night. I told uh, Joe last night that you fucking... And everyone went... You came in off the rip, too. You should be able to just go like this and clip it. I definitely wouldn't do that. We get the clippers, bro. It's right here. 
Back another row. I actually used some of the money that I had saved up. I had these, this is a true story, no bullshit. <laughs> Not like a pulling at the heartstrings or a pulling at the ceiling. There were these glass piggy banks that I had, and I've just, I just always kept them. And I started putting money in there and like sticking dollars in there. I was like, oh, we're going to have a gym one day. And then I didn't use it for the first gym, and I just kind of kept them. And I just always kept kept saving, kept saving, kept saving. That's cool. So I've always put money away for this, but... It's like a thousand piggy banks. Oh, this is what we, this is. Hey, congratulations, sir. <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> so that was kind of like the drywall thing. This shit looks crazy as fuck. So cool. This shit's gonna look dope when it's Dude, done. Man. Oh, yeah, it's fucked. Like 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 this one I just showed me. It has to be What's up, y'all? First ever Dookie PSF. I'm about to wreck up the women's bathroom because the men's bathroom, the lights don't work. You're a fucking monster. It's safe. George. I said it with what pool. I fucking nearly got you, motherfucker. I wish I hit you. Oh, shit. That's the shit that's still rolling. God damn it. Oh! The fuck are you doing? Did I hit it? Yes. Wrestling Club and CPSF Wrestling here. So we used to have Alliance Club Wrestling, but we kind of absolved that. We uh, now all the little kids wrestling clubs done here. So this is the mat space for the wrestling club. It's really incredible. This was all walls and uh, there was a drop ceiling. So we just took everything down and gutted it and made it uh, yeah, into this. Um, so wrestling area. 
we got some area over here. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with that. We might put a basketball goal, you know, we don't know. The bathroom over there, changing room, office. And this will be the strength and conditioning area. So like weights, um, you know, weights, uh, strength and conditioning stuff, like I said, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, uh, yeah big, big space here, like I said, in the, for the wrestling area, this is where the kids, wrestler of the year. I thought it was one of the banners. Paisley wrestler of the year. I was injured that year, so that's how he was able to win. But uh, yeah, good space. They do wrestling from like five years old to 65 years old, I think. That, I don't know if that's a cut off, but. Anyway, same thing, Dolomer, Dolomer mats. Dolomer, 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 can't thank them enough again. I know we said that in the beginning of the video, but cannot thank them enough for the the support and hooking us up and uh you know uh coming off coming off the old mats Derek's gonna go wrestle for a minute so we'll we'll cut back okay he's done uh. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall, this is our, our first day open. You're the first person in. Oh, shit. Come on. What's up, guys? <laughs> you look good, man. Did you comb your hair? <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, what? Uh, being able to, you know, be, being able to move the gym. So many people for so many years, you know what I mean? They, they, they always, you know, bitched and complained. Oh, man, the guys need to get a new place. They just didn't know, you know, we were we were holding out for the perfect place. So I think for the, for the first time, the, the building doesn't matter and the, the mats don't matter and uh, they're more comfortable. But at the end of the day, uh, I think we held out for the perfect place and I think we finally found it. So I'm really, really proud to call this the, the you know, the new Pedigo Submission Fighting, AKA Daisy Fresh. Don't worry, look at Marshall in the bracket. Don't worry about Marshall. He's, he's fucking up our sentimental speech, but we're just gonna leave him back there. All right, uh, this this is the perfect place though. This is the place we've been waiting on and uh, I can't thank George for the countless hours that he put in, Spatch for the countless hours, Sophia, um, later on Alita, everybody, George and Spatch though, they put so much work into this place. Uh, I was down with an injury and I mean, they put in 20 hours a day for a month. Uh, these guys have never done construction. They literally built this place with YouTube and uh, a construction for dummies book uh, in Spanish. I'm not even sure how Spatch read it, but uh, anyway, this is the perfect place. So uh, literally a dream come true for me and I'm sure a bunch of the guys. So thank everybody so much for always supporting us. We wanted you to be the first to check this place out before the students have even been in here, but uh, thank you guys so much. And thanks, Derek, for uh, being the first one in. Good man, appreciate you. <laughs> no, I always cry. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I held it together more than I thought I would. <laughs>